And I talk about this all the time, about this word extraordinary, and that if you want to live an extraordinary life, the only way to do that is by doing extraordinary things. It doesn't just happen by chance. It doesn't happen by luck. There is no such thing as luck. Um, you create your own luck uh, by putting yourself in a position um, to reap the rewards and reap the benefits of what you have sown, um, reap the harvest of what you have sown. Hustle was the very definition of humility. Because in my opinion, for someone to sit back and not hustle, but still want those things, or still even be able to have those things, that is the opposite of humility. That's sitting back and they're like, hey, I got this. I don't need to do, I don't need to put all that work in. I don't need to go out and just grind it out day in and day out, 18 plus hour days. Like I don't have to be, I don't have to do those things to have what I want to have. I would tell you that hustle says, I not only want to do those things, but I enjoy doing those things because it allows me to know that I earned it. There are so many people out there that have just settled, that have just settled um, because it was comfortable, settled because it was normal. Um, it was just what got easy, uh, what got they got used to doing, um, and again, what was comfortable. You guys know that have seen any of my stuff for any period of time. One of my favorite phrases in the world is that if you seek comfort, the world will deliver you pain. But if you seek pain, which means if you seek discomfort, the world will deliver you pleasure, and it's just a fact. Um, and so many people they get comfortable, and they just they just stay there. And that's just not, that's just not how we're supposed to live on this, on this earth. Like people, you hear people talk about like, you know, these big dreams, they'll say stuff like, oh, I don't need a house like that. I don't need to drive a car like that. It's like, no, you just don't want to work hard enough. Like you would love to drive that car. You would love to live in that house. You would love to have that bike. Oh, I don't need to, I don't need to have abs like that guy right there doing squats. You would freaking love to have abs like that. You're just not willing to put the effort in. So you have succumbed to this living small because you just know you're not willing to ever put the work in to actually get it. So it's just rationalization of like, I'm going to live this mediocre life and pretend like those things don't matter to me. But in reality, I just don't want to do what it get, takes to get it. So my question to you is, are you playing small? You know, people talk these days about, you know, why no one's dreaming big. I think people are still they still do have big dreams they just come to the realization that they're not willing to put in the work to achieve them